Good morning, everybody. Um, really delighted to be here. I'm Susan Hertzberg. I'm the CEO of BrainScope. BrainScope's been um, applying the application of ML and AI to EEG to create objective biomarkers of brain injury and disease. We've put together a really terrific leadership team of scientists and executives. Um, by way of my own background, this is my fourth PE or VC-backed startup. Uh, three successful exits, totaling over $500 million of shareholder value. In terms of our company, um, we're revenue stage. We're through all regulatory hurdles, eight FDA clearances, 32 peer-reviewed clinical studies. We're on our way. Our primary call points are to hospitals and concussion clinics. Um, and we've been uh, raising funds out of our Series B. Today we're focused primarily on the hospital emergency rooms where we can triage both brain bleeds and concussion in under an hour, patient in and out, uh, without the use of radiation. Uh, for concussion clinics from baseline through recovery, we have an objective biomarker that can track patient progress along their journey. As I said, we're fully FDA cleared through all regulatory Hurdles have three separate FDA clearances, other assessments on our handheld portable device, and we've been out there beta testing our product in a variety of use cases for over two years, so we know it's durable, high efficacy, and easy to use. When um, thinking about triage, there's really two questions that a clinician's gonna ask. Is there a, a structural injury or a brain bleed? And is there a functional injury or concussion? Today, for structural injury assessment, we've got five million patients each year heading to hospitals. Four million of them are gonna get a brain CT to rule out that brain bleed. The problem with CT, a lot of radiation, six and a half hour average wait time door to door. Um, tells you absolutely nothing about concussive status. Reimbursement got gutted by the payers years ago. Uh, because of the overutilization, right? We're applying a sledgehammer every single time. And nine out of 10 of those CTs are negative. Today in the EDs, they're not doing anything on the concussion front. These tests have been around since the 1980s. They're highly subjective, easily cheated. So typically patients are told, great news, no brain bleed, we're sending you home. If you still don't feel well in a couple of days, come on back or go see your primary care physician. With BrainScope, we're able to do both. We position ourselves ahead of the CT scan. We can rule out the brain bleed with near perfect sensitivity to CT, 99% sensitive, 98% negative predictive value. And at the same time, with the same input, we can provide the concussion assessment. Our tests are really simple, quick, and intuitive to run. It takes about uh, five minutes to apply a peel and stick dry gel electrode eight lead to the brain, um, and then another 10 minutes to run the EEG portion of the assessment. Um, it, we're looking for two minutes of non-continuous EEG data. We have seven artifacting algorithms on our device that is extracting that data, which then goes in to power uh, the AI and algorithms. It fits pretty much into any operational workflow. Uh, it's handheld, it's portable, it can be used by any level operator under the auspices of a physician. And um, the results are immediately available for both the brain bleed and concussion. They're very easy to understand. We want to make sure, especially on a brain bleed, that patients are being steered uh, uh, back to the clinician, certainly on BrainScope positives, BrainScope negatives, big green box, good to go, send that patient home. Our FDA clearance on concussion, uh, we scale with level of severity of injury, so we're putting that on a line graph to show just how severely injured somebody may be. We're an all-comer test, you can use BrainScope on drug and alcohol impaired patients, which is 30 to 50% uh, contributing to the head injuries that happen each year, 18 to 85 years of age, and for triage within 72 hours of injury. Our results download to a PDF, the hospitals and the military, by the way, like a local device. We don't interfere with all of the data security 
uh, firewalls in the hospital, and then quick upload into the EMR. We streamline the hospital uh, patient workflow process. We can truly get patients in and out in under an hour. There's no, unlike today, sit down, wait, wait for transport, go up to radi uh, radiology, get the CT, back transport down, wait for the radiologist to read it, and then finally get the diagnosis that you probably don't have a brain bleed still, uh, um, and then send home. We have an outstanding value proposition. On a unit cost basis, we're going to be accretive to the bottom line using routine CPT codes uh, for EEG and neurocognitive testing. I think really what we've been hearing from hospitals is the opportunity cost benefit of getting a better patient with 5 million patients coming through EDs each year for head and mild traumatic brain injuries, getting a better patient sitting in that emergency room is really important to them. So we improve throughput and productivity, um, more patients seen, and, and moreover, improve the clinical pathway for these patients because the vast majority of them may are not brain bleeds, but they are concussed. And getting them steered to appropriate care more quickly and for hospital systems, keeping that patient in their system, really, really important. Um, as we're getting scored, as we've been rolling out into the hospitals now, go figure, we, we started to launch in March of 2020 in a pan <laughs> the start of a pandemic to EDs. But now as uh, we're, we're pulling through that pipeline, what we're hearing uh, is that the patient satisfaction scores are uh, uh, over the roof, so all good on all fronts. Um, the, our third algorithm, as I said, is FDA cleared, and it's from baseline through recovery. It is a stable measure that can be reliably interpreted over time. There is nothing like it. We are the first and only. We're really excited, and we're just starting to roll this out. We see broad application in sports, in the military. It was developed with the US Department of Defense uh, funding, and uh, we're very excited to, to get this out there. We know that today players try to beat concussion tests and can do that. You can't cheat your brain waves. Um, quick summary, it's a peel and stick, single patient, single use uh, headset, so a razor blade business, ruggedized handheld device also created with the Department of Defense. Um, everything is, is cleared. We have 89 granted patents. 26 clinical studies, 32 peer-reviewed uh, publications as of this week, and over 13,000 subject evaluations. We've been rolling out, having amazing results since uh, the market has started to open up. We had our first hospital system end a pilot on the early side to move towards full rollout after we picked up uh, brain bleeds and, and showed a 50% diversion in CT. Really exciting time for the company. Uh, we're scaling, we're growing, and I think I'm just about out of time here, but uh, it's an exciting time for our, our patient care and for the, our company in rolling this technology out. We think we have the potential to become standard of care uh, with a really breakthrough and meaningful device, and um, thank you very much for your time.